right, I'ma just put my little things back in my clippies really quick. Like I mentioned, we're gonna be doing actually quite a handful of first impressions and new to me products in this video. Also gonna be doing some life updates because <clears throat> I have a few and some of them are gonna impact my channel as far as upload frequency. I already can't find the brush that I need. <laughs> Positive, I washed all my brushes last night. So the brush that I needed was out in the clean brush pile. Love that. I'm just using my Ulta Beauty Matte Eye Primer to prime my eyeballs. And then we're gonna be using a palette that <clears throat> if you haven't seen, I picked it up over on IG. You're probably gonna be pretty fucking shocked that I have it because who who would have thought? Honestly, not me. So what I got is the Pat McGrath Labs Quad. This one is the Venus and Fleurs Voyeuristic Vixen. Mm. I have been wanting this literally forever. This is what it looks like. I've swatched it out, haven't used it yet. I have had this, yeah, on my wish list off and on for literal years. I swatch it pretty much anytime I'm in a Sephora that has one. I'm gonna try going into this. So I've wanted it forever. And the reason I haven't is because I struggle with Pat McGrath mats. Like I think that they suck. <laughs> and I've tried two palettes. Oh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <gasps> Do you guys see this? <laughs> it looks great. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I am so excited. Oh my Lord, okay. So what I was saying is I hate Pat McGrath mattes. I've tried two of her palettes, um, Midnight Sun and then the Moonlit Seduction that was absolutely beautiful. And I tried them about a year and a half apart. I had Moonlit Seduction close to when it first came out, so almost two years ago. And the mattes, I just could not get them to work ever, no matter what I did. They were so dry, so patchy. They blended off my eyeball. They were terrible. I was like, I hated them. I'm like, how do people love this shit? Like it was literal, I'm like you're paying how much and this is how it performs. And now I'm almost like, did I get bad ones? Because, oh my God, you guys saw that. It, it went on so easy and beautifully. Like, oh, I'm shook. I, I am truly, truly shook. Like, whole, holy shit, holy shit. Sorry, I'm just like, that is so crazy to me. I, I'll link my videos below with the other Pat McGrath palettes if you want to watch them. And you'll be able to see how atrocious, atrocious, atrocious it is in the midnight sun. I experienced like heavy, intense creasing with the shimmers in there. And then the mattes were not good. And then in Moonlit Seduction, the mattes were terrible, but the shimmers were fine. I had no issues. So I picked this one up because it looks so pretty and I want Pat McGrath shadows to work for me because so many people love them. And I was like, you know, this is a quad. So there's probably, um, hmm, what do I wanna use? I think I'm gonna use this pretty one here and then probably go on with like a little bit of that. I was like, um, 
I want to love them. Everyone loves them. Like, you know, so I picked this up from Ulta with points. So I didn't pay anything for it. So I felt a lot better about it. And I was like, I'm going to give this one last shot. And I even told my Instagram fam, I was like, you guys, if this palette does not work for me, do not let me try another one in a year or two years when I want to try it again. <laughs> Just like I need to accept my fate that they don't work for me. But this is, if everything holds up, this is working beautifully. Oh my God. So I am like truly just shocked. I I was not expecting it. I was not expecting it to work well for me, but I was hopeful that I could get somewhere decent with the mats that I would be able to get past it since this palette is a lot more heavily shimmered based. So I was like, maybe I'll just be able to get past it. But that matte blended out very nice, as you guys saw. Oh my lord. I am just gooped and gagged. Like, I just don't believe it. I'm gooped and gagged. Um, the other two shades. Uh, I think I'm going to use this one, which was this one right here. This one is one of the special formula shades. And then I think these two are just regular shimmers. They feel a bit drier. Um, so I'm going to take <clears throat> a more pointed brush into that one. And just take that on the inner corner. I am... I am pleasantly surprised. Like I said, I'm starting to wonder now if I just got, like, palettes that were old or not good for them to you know perform that way and because I know this one is a newer one because it's in the reform well not reformulated um repanned version to where I took that one out a little far to where these pans are smaller Pat McGrath pans are usually much larger, but she made these smaller. So this is like a newer one, if you will. So maybe that's the difference. Maybe I was just getting old palettes that they should not have been selling before. And I was purchasing them from Sephora, which doesn't matter. Um... <clears throat> As of now, like the video I'm working on hasn't gone up yet, but he's talking about batch codes and like <laughs> retailers when they're selling you makeup and how long they sell you makeup for. And it's just like insane to me. Um, I haven't been able to get it up yet just because I haven't been able to really film anything. The only reason I'm filming this today is because I'm like already getting ready and I was like, you know, why not just throw it up and try these things together with you guys. I'm going to just go in with my It Cosmetics Hello Sunshine um, SPF 50. <sighs> Real quick. And the reason I haven't really been able to film a lot is because I'm moving. When I'm filming this, I will literally be moving in one freaking week. And if you've ever moved, you know how stressful it is and how time consuming and just energy draining. And so, I don't know, like, I'm hopeful that I'll get this up, like, within a couple days here. But after this, I'm not really sure when I'm going to have content ready because, like, obviously it takes time to film, to edit, to do captions. Um, so it takes like a little bit of time and when I, even when I get moved in, like we're going to be trying to get everything set up and arranged and all of that stuff. So I'm really just not sure what content is going to look like for a little bit because I'm just going to be, I'm not going to have the time. 
I'm still going to try though because I really don't want to go. I really want to keep to one upload a week. Sometimes two if like feeling crazy. But like I really don't want to go more than like one week without uploading. Alright, now I'm going to go into the new It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Natural Matte Color Correcting Pore Refining Full Coverage Skin Balancing Broad Spectrum SPF Cream. Yeah, that's a mouthful, but that's what it is. That's what it is. So I'm going to go into this and just apply that all over the face. Um... But yeah, I mean, I have stuff, content that I like am ready to film, like, especially this month. This is a project pan update month. Woo woo. And I love filming my project pan stuff. Um, and then I also have the speed reviews that I am ready to do. I have um, that batch code thing I'm ready to do. And then I also have a, you know, I put a lot on on accident. A little goes a long way, apparently. Um, I put on, oh, I wanted to do a hypothetical declutter. It was inspired by someone over on Instagram. And, um, so I want to do that as well. So, like, I have content ideas that I'm ready to do and talk about. I've just quite literally not had the time to sit down and... I don't want to like waste this little bit. What if I need it? I don't think I'm gonna need it. So I'm gonna wipe around my sponge. Um, but I have stuff that I'm ready to do. I just have not had the time. So I just ask that you be patient with me. Um, while I move and go through this life change and all of that. I also got a new phone. I got the iPhone Pro Max. And I was having a really a hard time with it, which is why I wasn't filming anything in my downtime because I couldn't even like do any like general content for like Instagram because I was having a very hard time with the camera to the point where like I was, I took it in to return it. And, you know, shout out to the guy that helped me there. His name was Joe and he was so nice. And I straight up said when I got there, I was like, listen, <laughs> this camera is trash and 100% could be user error, but like, I am not tech savvy. I really just need something that's going to work and I'm not going to have to like finick with and whatever. And I explained to him what was going on and he was like, really? He was like, that's weird. I haven't, you know, experienced that. He's like, but also he's like, I had just left my phone on the factory settings and I was like, me too. I don't know how to change that. I don't know what any of it means. Um, wow, that looks so nice. I'm honestly so surprised. My, my friend Sarah um, got this in PR as well. And she tried it over on her IG stories. And the train wreck that it was, she took us along the journey. And oh my god, it was not working for her skin. Um, but like... This is, I wore this one other time over just skincare at home to just try it because I was so afraid it would look how hers did and I didn't want to go anywhere with it on. But it seemed to go okay. So I had it on for like four hours. Um, so I was like, okay, I would feel more comfortable trying it, you know? Um, but yeah, it looks nice. I think. Yes, I do think. Gonna go with my Natasha concealer. But anyways, um, he was like, I was like, no, I have not changed any of these factory settings. So I'm like, I don't fucking know. I don't know what they mean. I don't know how. I don't know what the thing is. I don't know. I don't know shit about fuck. And he is like, can I see? And he's in there looking at the videos I was trying to take. And, and then he was like looking at my settings and he I was like, yeah, he's like, your phone is set up to capture, like, action shots. Like, people, like, running or doing high-speed stuff. He was like, it's set up that way. I don't know why. And I was like, I don't know why either, bro. Like, I don't know why. And so he switched all that stuff. And it appeared to be doing better. Um, 
And so I was like, okay. And it was funny because we were in there like doing stuff, looking at lipsticks and all this. He's like, um, he's like, do you do stuff with makeup? And I was like, yeah, I like create content as like a hobby on the side, like nothing serious. And he was, so we were talking about that and stuff. Um, but <clears throat> anyways, he was like, well, I am, you know, more than happy to exchange your phone for the, cause I was like, maybe I should just get the 15 plus. Well, you know, like way less high techy. I'm gonna go in with the bronzer. This is the um, highlighting shade from my Natasha Denona quad. And then this deeper bronzer from the actual Ace Beauté quad. So I'm gonna just mix these. And um, he was like, well, I'll do it. I'm happy to, but he was like, for what you're wanting to do, you really do have like the best phone for it. And he was like, I think now that we've adjusted the settings, you'll have a much better time. Um, he was like, it's your money though. So like, I will happily do this for you if you want. Um, but he was like, I would maybe try it since you have a couple days before the return window's over and see if it's not working better. And he was like, if it's not working better then you know, bring it back of course. But he's like, I think we like probably fix the issue. And just filming this, I think he's right. <laughs> It looks so much better. Also, I feel like this foundation is getting lighter as we go. I don't know. Maybe it just feels that way because I'm putting bronzer on. But yeah, he was so nice. He was so helpful. We worked through it together and I screenshotted all the settings in case for whatever reason they get mixed up. I'll be able to like look back at them and fix it myself because I don't live near an Apple store, you guys. Like... I had to drive to get to one of those. But if you didn't know, if you buy a phone from Apple, you only have 14 days to return that bitch if you don't like it. 14 days, that is it. So I was like, I gotta make this happen. <sighs> really just inconvenient to be honest, but I was like, okay, I will try it because like this is the phone I wanted and I was so dang excited for it. And also like I already have the case and the spring and the spring protectors the screen protectors like you know stuff that I'm not gonna get reimbursed for that was also expensive but wouldn't fit a different phone so I was like okay I'll give it a try have a couple more days and um yeah it's working out great now like I kind of forgot that I had it and it could do nicer stuff because like when I was showing you guys this I was like oh I can zoom in and it'll focus on the product without using the back camera because I just, I want to use the back camera, but no. <laughs> like, it's just too hard, way too much work. Like, just not, not into it. So this works out better. I can use the front camera and it works great. So I love that for me a lot. Um, Let's see, what do I have here? I have... Plus rub brushes. We'll just use this one, I guess. Um, I'm gonna go in with the Milk Makeup uh, Work uh, Lip. I uh, know Lip and Cheek. They're like blush, and I have the shade Work. This was like a free offer um, for a Sephora order I placed a while ago, and I'm gonna just like put it onto the back of my hand first and then go in with the brush just because I don't want to pull, I don't want to pull up this base. I don't know if it'll work that way. It might be too light. Okay, I'm gonna go directly in on the, I'm gonna go directly in on the brush. I was going on the back of my hand, but I'm gonna go in on the brush. There we go, that's working better. The shade is pretty. So yeah, I think my phone issues are fixed, which like that was bringing me a lot of stress um, because the phone is very expensive. Um, and so I wanted to make sure like either it was working or I was getting something that was working and I wasn't gonna be stuck with something that was like broken essentially. So, and nothing was close to me. Work has been crazy. I've been working so many hours and I'm trying to move. I was like, I 
told my boyfriend, I was like, I'm about to freak out. <gasps> like I just was not doing well. <laughs> But things seem to be picking up a little bit, so that is good. Hmm. And then that looks nice. I think it'll be interesting to see the staying power of the product, but initially, um, I think it looks really pretty. All right, I'm gonna just take some of the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder, and I'm gonna pop this on my under eyes and in like my T-zone just to help hold everything in. I don't think it's supposed to be crazy hot today, thankfully, but I'm still gonna always be setting these under eyes. And yeah, I usually get like, I see more oils coming through on my chin and around my mouth and like these sides of my nose. And then as well, it was just like right in here. So I usually always set right in here as well, just to kind of help keep some of those like at bay, at least for a little bit. And then I'll just dust it away. So far, I'm very pleased with how my makeup is coming out. I'm a level with you guys. I was a little unsure because I've heard pretty mixed reviews on that milk blush and maybe like i mean maybe it won't hold up well and it'll oops fade off but initially it looks good and then the foundation is looking good the uh-huh eyeshadow is unexpectedly looking good like i feel like we're setting ourselves up for a good day all right now i'm gonna go in with the fenty beauty diamond balm this one is in the shade rose rave i will say it's so nice to not have to worry about space on this phone either like my phone before this had like literally 67 gigs that was it it was a nightmare always it made everything so much work <sighs> so having space and not having to worry about it has been absolute game changer I also, if you have this, let me know. Is yours just like a satiny finish? Like, I think that the finish and the highlight overall is pretty, but I was expecting it to be more like the original Diamond Balm that is very sparkly. And this is not that, like at all, not that at all. So, if you have this, let me know if yours is also that way or if mine for some reason is just being weird. I literally have been trying to just like really, to, I was like maybe there's like a film over it that I need to get through for it to work correctly. I don't know, but I've been working through it and it's still not doing anything. So I'm starting to think that like either the formula is supposed to be different or like I just got a dud. All right, I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty um, Creamy Cool Liner, the black one. But yeah, the space has been such a game changer. Not having to delete apps and a bunch of other stuff just to like edit videos and re-download them and all that stuff. Like it's been nice to not have to do that because it was just like it took so much extra time and it was like you know very inconvenient to say the least so the space is nice i just like drugged that under there a little bit with like a small brush like this wow that is so nice and so we could get that lower lash line because i really didn't want to use the um maroon down there i feel like there was something else i was gonna chat about but i don't remember yeah i think that looks so nice when i do it down there on that lower lash line like that i love that more smudgy look i'm gonna use the nyx uh professional micro brow pencil the shade brunette
All right, now I'm gonna use a little bit of this Wing Me Brow Gel. And just run it through my brows the other day. I will never forget them because they looked so good. Like usually the goal is sisters, but really mine typically look like cousins. And my brows the other day looked like fucking twins. It was so insane. I was literally like, everybody look at my brows because they will probably never look this way again. So let's remember it and how beautiful they were and whatnot. So yeah, and you know, since then they have not looked like that. I'm not surprised, but I was just like, man, remembering that. I was like, they were so nice. All right, next I'm gonna go in with the Sex Kitten from Tarte. This is their felt tip liner. It's so nice, because now I feel like you guys can actually see the stuff I'm showing you, which is just a game changer, you know? Yeah, I think that looks nice. This is literally my favorite felt temp pencil. I've repurchased it like a dumb amount of times. Um, I have... I have a little uh, literal pre wow plethora of like new to me lipsticks. So I'm trying to <sighs> what should we use? Maybe let's do something like light and juicy. I'm gonna just kind of wipe my lips off real quick. So I'm gonna go in with the Makeup by Mario Plumping Lip Serum. I have the shade Rose Glow. I recently was sent um, kind of a mixed assortment of things and a PR package from the brand. So even though a lot of these aren't like brand new, they are brand new to me. And I've been able to start testing them out. Like I also got the Super Satin Lipsticks and then, uh, a couple palettes, a blush, liner, like, so I'm really excited. Okay, this is super soft, like it's literally just kind of like melting onto your, my lips. I feel like it does not feel uncomfortable though, as of right now anyways. Um, and then I'm gonna just spray my face with this mystery setting spray I got from Ipsy a while ago i don't know the name of it and it like wore off so i'm not really sure what it's called uh and then the last step all we have left is mascara i'm gonna do a little mixture i've been having to do mascara cocktails just because after my bite one expired nothing is hitting the same and it sucks. I'm gonna just curl them and I'm using the Shiseido Lash Wand. Recommended this in, well, a couple of videos, but one recently in my um, top product in every category video. I talked about a few tools on that, literally just three that are game changers. I'm going in with the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I know a lot of people love this, and I think if you like length, you will love this. But if you want any volume, this ain't gonna give it to you. So I've been using this as like the base coat for some length, and then I go in with something else for, to try and get some of that like volume. But I'll be able to use it up for that, but I won't repurchase it. I'm gonna pair it with the What's Up Beauty watch me mascara this one's really cool because it's one of those that has like the dual sides so you have that and then you have that to run it through at the end for volume and then for length which i appreciate so i'm gonna do the volume side over here first and then run through the other side okay so this is the final look I really love how everything came out. 
I am so pleased that the matte in this palette worked so well. I'm gonna take, I'm actually gonna take that off. I left it on because I was like, I might end up having to return this, but since I didn't have any issues with that matte, I don't really think it's gonna be an issue. So I'm gonna keep playing with this. Very, very excited about that. The It Cosmetics CC Cream, so far, so good. They sent me two shades. I think this is a good shade for me right now. The other one will be more of a summer shade. And I'm going to keep testing this and I will update you guys in the description box how it wears. If in like four hours everything is melting off my face, then I will let you know. But so far, so good. Same with the little milk blush. I still think it looks pretty glowy. We're still seeing it. But again, if it wears off, then I'll let you know. Um, <clears throat> what else was like new to me? I think just the Makeup by Mario uh, Plumping Serum Lippy. It does feel light and minty. I feel a little bit of a burn, but like nothing super intense which is fine with me i don't want anything super intense i'm a baby when it comes to that so yeah i think it looks pretty the shade is pretty i'm gonna keep trying this stuff out okay <laughs> this is like the sixth time i've tried to film this outro but um yeah just wanted to get on do some new makeup with you guys so you could see me trying it out and stuff and just kind of update you on what's going on in case you don't see me uploading as consistently uh, throughout the month of June. I'm just like, you know, moving and settling in and stuff like that. So there might be less content from me in general, um, but I'm still going to be on YouTube. It's just going to be a little different for a minute. But yeah, if you guys have made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And yeah, I will see you all in my next one. Bye.